刻むでハモンのビート Welcome back to another episode of me going over every music reference in the JoJo series. This time we're taking a look at Part 5, Vento Aureo, also known as Golden Wind. Part 5 is actually a bit shorter compared to Part 4, but that doesn't mean there'll be any less to talk about. In fact, I think Part 5 has some of the all time best when it comes to music references, and there's actually quite a bit of nice trivia to get into this time. One thing I should note though is that unlike Part 4, from here on out there is little to no official confirmation for the references. So we won't have access to the Shueisha Jump remix listing them all out neatly. That doesn't matter too much since almost every reference is pretty obvious, but it does make it harder to verify some of the trickier ones. We'll tackle that once we get to it though, so let's get right into the first reference. Our first reference comes with Giorno's stand Gold Experience, based on the Prince album The Gold Experience. Late in the story, we actually get some bios for the characters going over their likes and dislikes, including their music taste. In Giorno's bio, it says that his favorite musician is the guitarist Jeff Beck, a favorite of Araki. Next is something that isn't a direct reference, but a genre of music that influenced the part. Araki said that while writing Part 5, he began listening to gangster rap to help develop the atmosphere of the part and its protagonists. One example he gives is Snoop Dogg's album Doggy Style, which he has actually kept in his personal music collection years later. In this 2013 TV special, Araki shows it off alongside albums from Mariah Carey and Prince. Next is the character Leaky Eye Luca. In my old series, I listed him as a reference to the song Luca by Suzanne Vega. However, as I've gone over before, this is unconfirmed. Luca is a pretty common name, and if he were a reference, it would be pretty much the only one with an actual name reference in this part, since most of Part 5's casts are named after various types of Italian food or drink. So for this one, we really can't be sure, and it's possible it isn't a reference. Next is Bucciarati Stan's Sticky Fingers. It's based on the album of the same name by the Rolling Stones. For some reason, I've gotten a lot of comments over the years saying it's actually a reference to the American rapper Sticky Fingers. I can't really see what would lead people to think this other than it kind of sounding like how the stand's name is said in the anime. In this case, though, we actually do have official confirmation of the reference. In the JoJo Veller stand commentaries, Araki mentions that the stand is a reference to the album, and that its zipper ability is inspired by the album cover itself, which famously featured a functional zipper on the front. While we're on the subject of Bucciarati, the iconic scene where he licks Giorno to taste if he's lying may also have an inspiration. It may be based on the fact that the Rolling Stones' logo prominently features a tongue. In Bruno's bio, his favorite music is said to be the albums Agartha and Bitches Brew by the jazz musician Miles Davis. On the cover of a 1996 issue of Weekly Shonen Jump containing the fifth chapter, we can see a group of Jump manga creators in a photo shoot pictured next to their creations. Next to Araki is an original illustration of Giorno. The pose here seems to be based on this photo of Prince from a 1995 photo shoot with Versace. Pulpo's stand Black Sabbath is named after the English heavy metal band Black Sabbath. The scene where Pulpo bites off his own fingers may be a reference to the guitarist of Black Sabbath, Tony Iommi, who lost the tips of his middle and ring finger as a teenager. Abakio's stand Moody Blues is a reference to the British rock band The Moody Blues. In his bio, Abacchio's favorite musician is listed as Claudio Monteverdi, a 16th century Italian composer. Mario Zucchero's stand was Soft Machine, based on the British rock band Soft Machine. Mista's stand Sex Pistols is based on the British punk band Sex Pistols. For whatever reason, I actually got a ton of comments claiming this couldn't possibly be the case and that the stand was actually called Six Pistols. Of course, my first thought goes to the stand's English localized name, Six Bullets. But I think the place this actually stems from is the JoJo themed Roblox fan game Your Bizarre Adventure. It seems like here the stand is referred to as Six Pistols, presumably for censorship reasons. Of course, anyone who had actually read the manga knows that the stand is named Sex Pistols, and the reference is fairly obvious even without confirmation since the band is extremely well known. So it may be kind of harrowing knowing that there's just people out there playing the Roblox game more than they are reading the actual story. Enough of that tangent though. In Mista's bio, his favorite band is said to be the Carpenters. Saleh's stand Kraftwerk is named after the German electronic band Kraftwerk. 
Another dubious reference is with the character Perry Colo. For a time, people seemed to agree that he was named after the Italian-American singer Perry Como. However, this is unlikely, and he seems to really be named after the Italian word for danger. Formaggio's stand Little Feet, spelled F-E-E-T, is a reference to the American rock band Little Feet, spelled F-E-A-T. Narancha's stand Aerosmith is named after the rock band Aerosmith. In the anime adaptation of the fight with Little Feet, one shot showing Little Feet's hand and Aerosmith appears to be a reference to the cover for the Little Feet album, Under the Radar. In Narancha's bio, his favorite musicians are said to be Snoop Dogg and Tupac. Illuso's stand, Man in the Mirror, is a reference to the Michael Jackson song of the same name. The stand's name in the English localized version is Mirror Man, possibly a reference to the song Mirror Man by the Human League. Fugo's stand Purple Haze is a reference to the song by Jimi Hendrix. In the original manga, the turtle and its stand were never given a proper name. However, they were later given ones in the Jojo Agogo art book. The turtle was named Coco Jumbo, and its stand was called Mr. President. These are a reference to the song Coco Jumbo by the German Eurodance group Mr. President. Before this, though, in the Feeling Jojo interview from February of 1998, Araki was asked in a Q&A what the name of the turtle and its stand were. He said that the turtle was nameless, but that he was considering the name T-Rex for the stand. This is a reference to the English rock band T-Rex. Pesci's stand Beach Boy is named after the American band The Beach Boys. Prosciutto's stand Grateful Dead is referencing the rock band The Grateful Dead. Milone's stand Babyface is named after the R&B artist Babyface. Giaccio's stand was called White Album, named after the Beatles' self-titled album famously nicknamed The White Album by fans. The stand's ability, Gently Weeps, is based on a song from The White Album, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Our main villain Diavolo's stand is King Crimson, named after the English prog rock band King Crimson. Its sub-ability Epitaph is named after one of the band's songs, Epitaph. Squallow's stand Clash is named after the British punk band The Clash, and Tiziano's stand Talking Head is named after the band Talking Heads. Carne's stand Notorious B.I.G. is a reference to the American rapper The Notorious B.I.G. The stand's ability allowing it to exist after its user's death may be a reference to the Notorious B.I.G. album Life After Death. Trish's stand Spice Girl is named after the British pop group The Spice Girls, with her battle cry being a reference to their song Wannabe. Here's a reference that technically shouldn't really count. In the 97th chapter, Trish does a pose modeled after this photo of the English model Karen Elson. Elson has since gone on to become a singer-songwriter, although not until years after this reference was made. Risotto's stand Metallica is referencing the American metal band of the same name. In the manga, the stand is shown talking, saying the word load over and over again. This is referencing the Metallica album Load. Chocolata's stand is named after the American punk band Green Day. Seco's stand Oasis is referencing the British rock band Oasis. On the cover of Volume 62, Giorno's pose is a reference to the cover of the album Holy Diver by Ronnie James Dio, referencing Giorno's connection to his father, Dio. The stands Chariot Requiem and Gold Experience Requiem are named after Mozart's Requiem in D minor. Araki confirms this connection in one of the Jojo Veller stand commentaries. He says that Mozart began writing Requiem after getting a commission from a mysterious visitor, whose gender is also unknown. He says that he designed Chariot Requiem based on this, giving it a mysterious and androgynous appearance. Scalipi's stand Rolling Stone is named after the band The Rolling Stones. Finally, we have the anime's credits themes. First, we have the song Freakin' You by the American R&B group Jodeci. When selecting a song for the credits theme, the anime staff asked Araki which one they should use. He told them it should be gangster rap like the kind that inspired the part and sent a list of songs that could fit. One of them was Freakin' You, and while it wasn't really gangster rap and was slower paced, they thought the song fit well and chose it. Araki said that Jodeci are great singers and that it was also fitting since one of the members of the group is nicknamed Jojo. Its second credits theme is the song Modern Crusaders by Enigma referencing the similarities between Parts 3 and 5. The band Enigma had also been previously referenced in Part 4 with the stand Enigma. And that's every music reference in Part 5. Just like Part 4, this one has some of my favorites when it came to references. And I think I was actually able to get into a lot of interesting background info for some of the topics. 
Next time we'll be moving on to part 6, a part full of some very interesting and varied references, including some I've never covered before. If you're looking forward to it, I hope that you'll subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I upload. You can also join the Hum and Beat Discord to get updates on new videos and important JoJo news. I'd also appreciate if you help support the channel on Patreon. You can receive Discord perks as well as the opportunity to submit questions. This video's question comes from Rex. They ask, what fact or music reference surprised me the most when I got to it? I'd say the most surprising music reference in JoJo is definitely Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style, referenced by a stand later in Part 8. Of course, the name itself is already a bit surprising, but I think it gets even better considering this is basically a confirmed reference. Since, as I mentioned in the video, Araki has the album in his personal collection. I also find it really funny that Araki first listened to this in the 90s, kept it all the way through to 2013, and then finally referenced it directly with a major character stand in 2018. It's overall just such a delightful reference with an interesting history with Araki. If you want to submit a question, you can become a patron at any tier and post them in the member chat on the Patreon mobile app or DM them to me directly. Due to a change in Patreon's community post system, all the old questions were deleted. So if you had a question before that you still want answered, I hope that you'll resubmit it along with any new questions you might have. I try to answer one question per video, so please send in as many as you want. Thank you for watching. This is the part of the video where I thank my $5 and up patrons. Thank you to Sloth Dog, Doorbell, Crayon, Rigovids, Zucato, Pumpkin Doge, Marrow, Almighty Quarth, Gatlin Grove, Lime Jinjo, Sponge Cake, Kakext, Feliciano Rabaja, Rayana Meme, Christian McDonough, Emmanuel Etienne, Pulse Dog, Great Riek, Carmotrina, Zach Greenfield, FIFO, Rob Goliath, Jacob Smith, Ryan Ramirez, Big T, C Manga, Minty, Gold, Darko, and Jolene.